guys, welcome back again. Dave's mentioned welcome back again for another video. Welcome back again to your channel. This is your home for tech toys and talk. And of course, the channel where chaos and insanity will always reign supreme. Now, obviously, yes, that's my Proton Pack. That is my HasLab turned upside down because I'm slowly in the process of upgrading it. The plan is to get her pretty close to a Ghostbusters Frozen Empire pack right before the premiere, but we'll see what happens. Now, I don't have any special plans for said premiere, but hey, I always like to be suited and I got a uniform I'm working on, got a few other things. You guys have seen the GB Fans pins I've been uh, acquiring through GBFans.com, which I highly recommend. I got a lot of stuff. And in case you're wondering what pins I'm talking about, we have the Engineering Division of Ghostbusters pin. There's also the patch, which you can also get through GBFans.com. The Zenimore Industries Limited pin. I love this. This And these two pins, they look fantastic against the black jumpsuit. So, and in case you're wondering about the patches I'm talking about, these jobbies. On a black flight suit, they look friggin' phenomenal. And yes, you can get them through GBFans.com. No, this channel is not affiliated or endorsed by GBFans. I just think they have really great products, and they're a great source if you're trying to do a Ghostbusters cosplay, or if you're joining a Ghostbuster franchise, and you want to come as correct as possible. So, speaking of correct, what do I have here? Now, there is a Etsy shop. Now, like I was saying, there is an Etsy shop that I love going to. Now, as you can see, I've actually been shopping through quite a few. But the most recent one, and I'm going to go through my purchases real quick. Here we go. Uh, Moby Signs. Moby Signs, they make amazing uh, decals and other related accessories for your uh, HasLabs. HasLabs, Spirit Proton Packs, 1 to 1 Scale Pack. And, I mean, literally, he has everything. Moby Science will make anything and everything out there. You want your Neutrona wand to look weathered. There's this weathered decal that he applies. There's different, uh, or that he designs. You want it to look really weathered or just faintly weathered. He even has a decal that goes over the front of the ion arm. Because you don't see these bolts here. And this is a sticker. He has these little plugs here to cover up the screw holes. He's got all these different sets will, that will make, that just add so much dimension. Literally, add so much dimension to your pack. He's got them for Spirit Halloween Proton Packs, the 80% scale and the 100% scale. He's got everything. I really do swear by this guy. He makes amazing decals, or if you just need replacement stickers for your Spirit proton packs or your spirit ghost traps your ecto goggles maybe you want you designing your own containment unit he's got the decals for you right there guys again i have no affiliation with moby science i'm just a big fan of his work i buy his stuff all the time for my ghostbuster gear i really cannot cannot recommend him <clears throat> any higher i mean he he's just the best uh if you saw my Uh, on my, uh, probably saw in a previous episode, I have these weather decals. They're basically diffusers that go over the LED lights and it gives the cyclotron a nice weathered lens look for the lights. I mean, it, he does amazing work and I'm taking this step further. I mean, I had, as you can see, I mean, it looks like this is a weathered, weathered cyclotron. <clears throat> now. I've done some minor modifications to the inside of my pack. And thanks to Moby Sign, Moby Signs, I ordered his. He's got a kit where you can actually add more stickers and dimensions to your cyclotron. Okay. You can you get this for the uh, ribbon arm, where the ribbon uh, clamp goes on to the cyclotron. These decals are all for the inside of the cyclotron, and so is this. This actually adds some nice touches to the cyclotron itself. 
there's also this ribbon that you can apply to the inside of the proton pack itself. Now, I'm going to show you right here. This is stock. Well, the top parts are. Okay, it just looks solid black. With this, you add a dimension with the silver finish and then the gold going around the different transistors. I don't know if they're really called transistors, but that's why I call them. Um, so you can add more detail to it. To the inside, when we take the cake portion, the actual cyclotron out itself, there's decals that go on these little, little grommet pieces to add a little bit more dimension. Around the switches, there are these silver decals you'll put over, which would could be used for lights. You can see there's a little gold trim that goes right here. That's not existent on the pack right now. You could hand paint it, yes, or you get these awesome decals that are already made and they're perfectly cut and fit for like right here. This, this is not how it looks. That is how it looks right now. It adds a nice two-tone dimension to it. And I mean, it just looks fantastic. Some people go a step further and do some additional painting. As you can see, the clamp makes it look brand new. I love that. So this whole set, I actually got through Moby Signs, and you can choose, there's a copper kit, there is a silver kit. So if you want it to be all silver. So yes, he has some other ones, or if you just want to order the ribbon by itself, you, you can do that right there, okay? <clears throat> and he does ship very fast, and like I said, he has a whole assortment of decals. And if you have ideas, for a prop, whether it's Ghostbusters or anything, I would definitely hit him up. He does weather decals, both clean and weather right here. He's got a ton of stuff here. And I cannot recommend him, I mean, any higher. He, he just does amazing work. Like here, this is what I used on mine. I used this one, and then I had the other two decals, so I passed them on to a friend of mine. Because he has a couple of sp uh, Spangler wands. And I'm like, hey, I have, you know, I went with this one weathered version. I still have two. Would you like them? And I gave them. You know, you can have a plain white finish if you want right here. Or you can have these weathered ones. Okay. I mean, he's got just about anything and everything you might imagine. Uh, maybe you got the uh, earlier uh, Afterlife, the blue uh, wands. You want to add some decals to it. He's got you covered. If you got the Kenner. Ecto-1 reissue, and you want to do the 1A, he's got your sticker kit right there. And I actually have that on one of my uh, Ecto-1s, my Kenner, re I actually, on an original Kenner, my Kenner reissue is still in the, still in the box. I have thought about doing this, but, um, you, I mean, he's got everything identical and even maybe a little bit better than Kenner did originally. He's got it all, guys. And I highly recommend if you're a Ghostbusters fan and you're doing some upgrades, hit him up. If you have an idea of something you might want, maybe something custom, he might be able to do it. I'm sure he's open to hearing ideas. <clears throat> now, that's just from my own perspective. But hey, go ahead and check him out. I highly recommend it. You will not be disappointed, guys. His Etsy shop, again, is Moby Sign Company. Moby like a whale. Moby Sign Company. There it is. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And he's got everything, guys. I swear, he will hook you up like a tote truck. So, guys, please check him out. And let's get to this unboxing. And let's go. What do you say? Okay, guys, let's go ahead and open this up. And also, what I love about Moby Signs is a lot of times he will throw in some stickers. You know, just like a, a funny little novelty sticker. And he did not disappoint. He threw in a sticker that is a mini poster of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. That is just so, so awesome right there. I mean, that's, that's, that's bananas. I love that. He does these awesome things. And what's cool is, like, okay, here, here's like the receipt. He actually printed it on really nice hard cardstock. You know, it's, it's got my address, it's got all that good stuff, tells me what the kit I, I ordered, and he actually hand writes. Thanks again, David, because, I mean, I buy from him all the time, uh, so that's always cool. <clears throat> Let's take a look at what we have here. He actually gives us a nice little instruction. 
instruction on where to apply the stickers and how, which is always awesome. Let me just open this up. This is, yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, he gives us a nice little, nice fully colored, and this is like a, a nice, this isn't like flimsy printer paper. This is like real nice stock that he's used that on. <clears throat> so I really appreciate that. It says for best results, make sure the area is clean and dry before replacing any stickers using the tip of an X of an X-Acto knife uh, helps uh, place this, the smaller stickers a lot better. Now, what he means by an X-Acto knife is you ever see like those box cutters? That's kind of an X-Acto knife. Or if you're a Gundam builder, model kit builder, like these hobby knives, they do work pretty well. I mean, they are super sharp. You can you you really can do some damage with something like this. But if you apply a sticker to the very tip of it, it doesn't take much, and you can apply to various surfaces. Now, for me, um, I'm going to try not to use that because with my Gundam kits, I have these tweezers, both angled and straight. So I plan to use these for sticker placement. These also are very sharp, so you want to be very careful to. Uh, place the caps back onto them when they're done. I have cut myself. I have done some damage with these before. So please beware. But let's take a look at the <clears throat> decals themselves. Set that off to the side. Look at the silver finish on this. I mean, you can see how reflective it is. I mean, that's just tremendous. This is going to go around the emitters here. <clears throat> By the way, these are not the stock ones. These I got from another Etsy store where these are 3D printed and then they, they came out pretty good, but then I applied a copper paint to them to make them pop even more. Here is the gold decals and we're gonna be applying these to the pack itself, to the inside of the Cyclotron. And I cannot wait to show you guys this. And also, yeah, we got the ribbon. Now the ribbon is meant to go along the inside of the cyclotron. I haven't thought about how I'm gonna do that just yet. Let's see, does he have some instructions on this? Uh, fellow busters have been attaching this ribbon cable with heavy duty double-sided tape or glue. So he tells us right there how to do that. And this is like a real legitimate looking ribbon cable. You know? <clears throat> so, what I could do is I could get some double-sided tape, or I might even tack this, maybe with some hot glue, maybe not with hot glue, I think the double-sided tape method might be the best way to go if I decide to do this. I'm probably gonna do this, I'm just gonna take a look at my options to see what's really gonna be the best way to go. I might even use YouTube as a nice reference tool. When in doubt, YouTube it out, man. <clears throat> so, I might see if I can get myself some uh, heavy duty one sided tape or double sided tape. And I think that's going to be the best way to go. So, yeah, I, I mean, he he does good packaging and he actually gives you input. He gives you instructions on what to do or how to do it. And that's what's so awesome about this. Now, as you can see, this is the cyclotron beforehand. Now, with a little bit of movie magic. I'm going to wave this over, and we are going to come back with this all completed. Let's go. Okay, guys, so as you guys saw, I broke out the decals, and, well, here's some of the subtle differences. We got this bronze, this copper sticker that goes right there, and we got a few accents to show, like, a little clipping, uh, little clips holding the wiring, running it into the cyclotron itself. So, those are pretty simple, right? Then, there we go, we got the cyclotron right here, or as we like to call it, the cake pan of the cyclotron, and we have these little gold accents that, uh, the, the little transistors that come right out, they just go right on top. Yeah, it's not perfect, perfect, but from a distance, you can't tell nothing from nothing. So, um, we got these 
silver stickers that go on the outside and then on the top here we have stickers that go around the hoses here um there's like looks like little metal silver clips those are the rubber clips that come with it that come part of the HasLab. but there's decals that go right over it so this adds a completely different dimension to it yes i did say that also there is a rainbow colored cable that goes around here purely for decoration now he does suggest that you can use some super glue or uh, well it says glue or double-sided tape i actually did really small dabs of hot glue you know all the way around and i think this this makes the inside of the cyclotron look so much better now of course i did mention that i did replace the inner cones now, part of this, the actual set of, of decals of stickers from Moby Signs is some decals that can actually go around this to add more dimension to it. But since I already replaced it, I just didn't use those. But this looks phenomenal. And if you're wondering why I have the, these parts taped, well, I'm actually going to paint these to match the inside of the Proton Pack. Pull that right up. So as you can see, again, we had the same kind of treatment where there are some copper stickers that go in a few choice spot, spots. We also have some silver stickers that go on the inside. And against, uh, against the plastic molded copper that we have here, the little copper uh, decal stickers, they're not perfect. Okay. Well, at least I shouldn't say this. The stickers are perfect. The application done by yours truly is not perfect, but... From a distance, you can't tell, but it definitely adds another dimension to it. There's also some decals that go right here, which is where you would normally have the vent. So, yeah, there's a lot nice, a lot of detail here. Plus, we got this little copper or brass kind of color right here. And that's what I want to do on the top of the lid that I just showed you guys. So, I'm going to be painting that in just a few moments. There's even a decal that goes over the ribbon cable clip right here to make it look nice and new. Um, it's not 100% perfect, like it doesn't go on the underside, but I'm gonna be doing some modifications very soon where I'm gonna have to take this apart. And who knows, maybe I will be painting it completely. Uh, I actually have a mod for a new ribbon cable coming in. There's gonna be a lot more stuff we're gonna be adding on to this pack to make it Frozen Empire worthy. But yeah, this is, I mean, this is coming coming really good i love the silver accents it definitely adds a little a little bit more dimension to it if you do if you do get the moby signs cyclotron set which i highly recommend you do i would actually suggest opening up the pack and then unscrewing and removing these parts out doing so is going to make the application of the sticker so much easier i definitely think disassembling the entire part and you know having this whole whole part out of the pack it's going to make it much more manageable for you to actually apply those decals. At least that's my, my personal opinion, guys. Now, what did I use? I used an X-Acto knife, just like he said. I wound up using my, uh, my little hobby knife right here. This was instrumental because on the silver, not, not the copper, but the silver strips, um, they were really adhering to the paper that they were printed on. So this blade, as thin as sharp as it is, it allowed me to kind of push it underneath the label so that it would kind of create a separation between the paper and the decal itself, making it easier to pull off. And also, believe it or not, this was more instrumental than the tweezers in applying some of the decals, believe it or not. So yeah, our next step is going to be painting these two strips, which is going to be nothing. And then, well, I have more HasLab mods coming soon. So I want you guys to stay tuned to that. We have new grips for the Neutrino on uh, that are compatible with either the 1984 Neutrino on or the Spangler uh, Afterlife Neutrino on uh, a grip for the rear grip for the front. Also, I have what some people are affectionately calling the uh, cheese was or the cheese wedge, which is that yellow block that goes on the side of the heatsink of the neutrino wand itself. 
I have that coming in, and I think I have, yeah, I have also another component that's going to go on the fr on the back of the pack itself. I have a lot of extras coming in. Um, I also have a friend who is trying to print the new Frozen Empire bumper. So like I said, I have a friend who is in the process of trying to print a Frozen Empire bumper. I'm really looking forward to it because this person is a master when it comes to 3D printing props and helmets. He's just amazing. So I can't wait to see what he, what the end result is going to be. I have complete faith in him. I really can't wait. Uh, so awesome. Um, am I going to convert the pack completely over to Frozen Empire? That's kind of the idea, but I might hold off on one or two things. Like the ion arm, which is the little wedge that sticks out and it has the copper wire coming coming down. I don't know if I'm going to do that mod or not. I'm kind of on, on the fence of that. I have a new ribbon cable coming in. So this pack is going to be transforming. Uh, I mean, it already is. Uh, it's just, in, honestly, some, some might say, well, Dave, who's ever going to see this? If you always keep your pack closed, how is anyone going to see it? Well, they won't. You know, maybe if I have it on display in a, in a video or we're showing off something at a con, I might set it on a, a stand and maybe we'll, we'll show it off then. But honestly, just the fact that it's kind of personal pride for me. You know, it's that personal flex, that, that personal pride that I get just knowing this, the extra steps I took on my pack, you know. Because when Ghostbusters get together, it is about comparing your, your, your packs. Like, hey, oh. Wait, I love I love you. You did this with with this cable, or oh, I saw you you did this with the bumper. You know, how did you do it? It's it's about it's about talking and comparing packs, but then also sharing that information. Ghostbusters community, we are he we're very big with that. We love sharing ideas, uh, and it's just you know it's like helping helping your best friend out, trying to make things the best possible. We all get ideas from each other. That's the constant. Uh, the Afterlife uniform, or I, sh I shouldn't say Afterlife, Frozen Empire uniform is going to be coming along very shortly. I didn't get the ideal suit. Rothko will have words about that in a later video. Uh, but yeah, I'm just so psyched. And I love how this came out. I mean, that, that just, it looks awesome. And yes, I am keeping the weather look and the decals. And again, these decals are from Moby Signs. You can get them. And I mean, they, they look fantastic. And I mean, come on. When have you ever seen a Hazlap get modified so much? Uh, I mean, the Ghostbusters Proton Pack, uh, the Spangler, Spangler Pack Hazlab has been, some, has been something that, you know, I don't think even Hasbro was prepared for. They made it in mind so that they knew fans would want to take it apart and mod it themselves. But I don't think they really anticipated us to go this far with it. And a lot of people have gone even further, okay? And honestly, Has Hasbro, if you're, I doubt you're, you're watching this, let's be perfectly friggin' honest. They don't know who I am. Um, I will say this. They need to keep making props along these lines. You know, I'm not saying... Uh, solely Ghostbusters, although I would love it if you keep making Ghostbuster props. Two in the box, I can't wait for it. Uh, but what I'm alluding to is if they took this kind of detail and care and applied it to Star Wars, applied it to G.I. Joe, applied it to all the different lines that they have under their umbrella, you know, it would be a game changer for them. It would kind of reinvigorate their company, uh, but they're not. I mean, look at the lightsabers that they've done recently. You you can tell they look like plastic. They look like cheap plastic. Some of the helmets have been lackluster. I think some of their best helmets, uh, I personally have not held the Mandalorian or the Boba Fett helmets. However, I have the uh, Red Mighty Morphin Power Ranger helmet. The Ranger helmets, they're, they're very light. They're they're meant for smaller, smaller people. I mean, the way the, your head is shaped, there's like literally no room, which is complete crap considering... Hasbro has also done the Iron Man helmets, and I can fit in those with extra room. Kind of crazy if you think about it. Just think about it for, for a minute or two. And those, they're much more heavy duty. Uh, they're more durable plastic than the Power Rangers ones are. I mean, the Power Rangers ones, for an adult to fit them, even if it's, you know, someone of a slimmer build, 
you know, your ears still get cut off kind of. You kind of have to wear like a, a head sock of some kind to keep your ears kind of pulled in or tape them or some, some weirdness. It's weird. It's just weird. But yeah, there we are, guys. The uh, Cyclotron, the Moby Science uh, Ghostbusters uh, HasLab Cyclotron decal set. Highly recommend it. I'm going to have a link in the video description below. And please, if you're a Ghostbusters fan, you're looking to mod your pack, your your spirit pack, your one-to-one -one scale proton pack, your Neutrona wands, your ghost traps, your PKEs, your Ecto-1s. Maybe you're going to be modifying your, your daily driver into an Ecto-1, or maybe you're building a little containment unit. Whatever you're doing, hit Moby Signs up. He will hook you up like a tow truck. But guys, until next time, you, you know what I'm going to say. I say it every single time. This is Dave from Dave's Dimension. If you want to reach me, reach me. You can message me on Instagram at Dave's underscore Dimension. You can email me at Dave's Dimension 78 at gmail.com. And I hope you do. And don't forget, we have Stream for the Cure happening later this year. And I got some surprises coming along the way. So I hope you help support us and help support Roswell Park. And ride for Ride for a Cure cure for cancer ride for Roswell this year later in june but guys until next time this is dave from dave's dimension saying keep on busting and i'm always going to catch you on the flip side take care guys